Hey guys, it's Digidude22, logging in for Stream Riders again. And you're gonna be saying, Mega Man 3's finished. Well, it's time to see those funky little things that uh, went on during the... LP that I, uh, didn't get a chance to show off. Uh, the glitches, and the tricks, and the bloopers, if you will. So, well, uh, let's start this off. Now, for the most part, I've only found a few of these on my own. For the most part, I had to look up other videos on this. But, uh, hey. Did you know that you can freeze time in Mega Man 3? If you hold up and A on the second controller, you can actually freeze the time. Hey, look at him! He looks so cute! It also makes this weird glitch and sound that is horrible on the ears. Having problems with Hammer Joes? Fear not! Time freeze! And turbo control. Easy enough. Who says you can't farm for items like you did in Mega Man 2? Turbo controls, go! Also, why does a Mega Buster sound like a laser? Now, time freeze can also be a very cool little way to manipulate stuff, such as time. So, hold the up and A button on a second controller to initiate it, and then release the A button. You will not be freezing time, you will just be slowing it down. Check out Mega Man as he walk, as he runs around. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Oh well. And as for sliding with a turbo controller, let's see what happens. Slide jump, slide jump, slide jump, slide jump. Whee! Having problems in this area of the stage? Where the nuts and bolts w just won't let leave you alone? Fear not, Super Jump is here! Hold the right button on the second control pad, and Mega Man will... Super Jump! Oh boy. He is Death Defying Mega Man! This doesn't look good. Oh well. How about we freeze time on the bosses? Let's go! Time freeze! Who said you needed to kill off Flashman just to get his power?
Giving you a trouble? Never fear, time freeze is here. Oh, look at Mega Man as he just falls backwards. Uh oh. Get me out of this place. Ugh, time freeze. You learn something new every day. I never knew you could freeze those bolts. That's just great. But how do I get myself out of this jam? Carefully. Wee. Having furball problems? Time freeze is the best way to deal with them. Actually, the best way of dealing with these things is the turbo controller. We Oh, wait. Yeah, we've seen this already. Why bother doing it again? Because I fail at jumping? Now Top Man has always been one of my favorites. Just, uh, what happens when you freeze time on him? That happens. Man, that free that time freeze glitch is gonna be so fun to ab abuse. Especially on all the bosses. Like say a certain ninja that I hate. Death defying battle with Proto Man when you freeze time. He won't shoot. But overall, the battle with Proto Man is oh so much easier if you just go at normal speed. Because while you're ta frozen in time, you can't slide. I mean, you can, but it's not not that easy to. Top spin isn't actually that bad of a weapon. So how to get past this part of the stage without using the Magnet Missile? By dying. Screw the rules. I have super jump. There we go. Time 
Time for everyone's favorite ninja. Time freeze. Well, hello, Shadow Man. How are you? So apparently the time freeze doesn't work on ninjas. Right, so... Did you guys know that it's possible to get... The rush jet before fighting Needleman? Just go to our shadow blade and move over. Of course it comes with no energy. So we're just gonna have to do something about that. Not like that, but you get the idea. Really? More? Go figure. Oh, well, look at that. Here's Rush Jet. And so long as you don't stand on him, you don't use any energy. But anyways, to what we were actually here for... Spark Shot! Now we have a way of dealing with the bees! Oh boy. And if another one flies through it... Ugh. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. How long can a hammer Joe swing the hammer for? One of the great mysteries Wily designed with these things. Now, you can actually see that he is swinging the hammer as if he's going to be throwing it. But in reality, he's just twirling and twirling. Never gonna release it. Until I tell him to, of course. Some more topspin action. These monkeys that I just hate, because they go berserk. Ape shit, if you will. Yes, topspin beats them in one hit. No wasting your shadow blades or Gemini lasers on them. Who wants to see what the time freeze can do on a big barrel of hardness? Ow. Probably not much. But you can make him look like a complete goofball. These magnet-like enemies in the Magnet Man stage, they just pick you up and drag you along with them. Ow. But what happens when we go like this? Come on, come on. Ah, oh, well. That didn't go as planned.
No, that didn't go as planned either. Screw it. There's a glitch you can pull off with these magnets in a bottomless pit, but I can't pull it off. Time for a quick time freeze. See these annoyances? Just let them go on their own. Much easier than waiting for all the patterns to go through. Be warned though that the magnet will still try to pull you in. So my suggestion? Just super jump. Yes. And this one's no problem. Unless you do something dumb like that. Wait, why is he still moving? This can be done in a bottomless pit. After you've fallen. And if you're using the super jump command on the second controller. You can walk around, as if you're beyond normal land. But he's just walking around aimlessly in a bottomless pit. You can't super jump, though. If you look carefully there... Mega Man did not even shoot anything, and yet he still managed to beat Magnet Man. <laughs>